Apocalypse. What is up players? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into my channel. My name is Creepers and I'm here with some more new information about OB67. That's right ladies and gentlemen, I did a video today talking about the OB64 um, unbound mode going away. The cards, with, you know, leveling up cards is no longer in this uh, patch OB67 and you know so on and after that uh, so basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna still be getting the ob66 uh probably ob66 is already on the computer as i'm speaking right now and some people are having problems because of battlegrounds that's also a change um they're going to be taking away battlegrounds from ob67 or from the patterns champions of the of the realm uh core game and what they're going to be doing is they're going to be putting it as a separate mode, as a separate game. Spe yeah, spe especially it's it's two different games. They have nothing to do with each other except that they are from the same uh, core story and etc. But they're going to be changing it a little bit. Yeah, there's some news about this Pal Paladins Battlegrounds. Uh, but I'll be talking about that in a few seconds. Let's just talk a little bit about the Paladins normal mode OB67. What's it's gonna happen? And I can tell you right now, as we speak, that I know that there's gonna be a new champion and a new map. All of this was talked during the developer insight uh, stream that they did today, early today. And the new champion that's coming out, it's uh, Khan, if I'm not mistaken. Khan can. Um, I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong, I'm still trying to figure out some more information about this. What I do know is that it is a frontline, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the champion that I said before that it was coming out, which is the bodyguard of Leon. Yes, it is here, and it's coming on OB67 alongside with a map that has sort of a Chinese team which is what they said, and I believe this map is gonna have somehow a little bit of, uh, how do I say this, it's gonna be connected to both Leon, uh, this new champion, and maybe Zen. I'm still not entirely sure, um, you know, having some skins like for example the Ash skin and also the Talus skin of the Chinese kind of theme also leads me to think that they kind of did it on purpose, not entirely sure, let's you know, now let us not think too much about it, but we already know there's a new champion, there's a new map. Uh, Battlegrounds is coming off, uh, we are gonna have the card system back when it used to be before OB64, which is basically a five deck, uh, a five loadout card, and you're gonna be able to put points in it as you wish as before but the thing is before you put it up from 1 to 12 points you always you always were forced to put 12 points but the maximum you could put on a card was four points so technically you could go four points on the first one four points on the second one and we already have eight so then you could go like maybe two on the third one and probably can go only one one on the last two cards which would you know it would give a total of 12 points, but the thing is they changed it so the cards now go from level 1 to 5 and you can put as many points as you want between 1 to 5 in them, but in total of the 5 cards you can only put 15 points. As I said in my previous video which I published today, um, now we're gonna be able to put 15 points. This is something that I said that it would be much better, you know, instead of 12 points, put 15 points, give us a little more, you know, a little more uh, customization. But if you do the math, uh, we are gonna have less points than before technically because the cards are probably gonna be balanced and to be divided by five levels instead of four. And if you think about it, you can put in the maximum like two, uh, and then you can only put three and one, one. So technically, two cards are gonna be a level one. And if you think about it, these two cards are level one. Are much lower, a little bit lower than cards who are level one from one to four. 
uh, because between 1 to 4 the gap is a lot smaller so it means it's bigger numbers that have to be divided only by 4 and not by 5 so technically we're gonna be losing a little bit there uh, but yeah let's see how it works maybe they're gonna be you know instead of dividing the, the old values they're gonna add new values to a fifth point but um, there's also gonna be changes on the legendaries as I said before which will be called talents and in these talents uh, we're gonna be basically we're gonna be earning them by leveling up by one level one five ten fifteen and so on we're still gonna have the four talents for every single champion as before and they said they're gonna be adding new talents and not just that they also said they already have some concepts for the next champions to be revealed um, now I've been watching the stream I still haven't found any information about a new mode coming out so if you guys do know this please let me know down in the comments uh, I'm talking about because if they're gonna, if they're gonna take away the battlegrounds, what's the mode they're gonna be putting in there, right? Now, since I'm talking about battlegrounds, let's just go into that really, really fast. Battlegrounds, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they are gonna be changing a lot of this. Like you're probably thinking, so if they're gonna be putting the mode completely away from the core base game patterns, What's it gonna happen? Is the same account for Paladins gonna be working on Battlegrounds? I still don't know this, and honestly, this is gonna be like super weird. We're not gonna have the champions that we have on Paladins, apparently. We're gonna have a base, uh, base character, and we're gonna be earning some skins. Pretty much like Fortnite, they also said they're gonna be trying to do a little bit like Fortnite, the, the drop off where we go and drop from the sky because people are trying uh, asked for it, so they're gonna be trying, but it's not promised, so don't think it's it's official. Um, they're also saying that now we are be we're gonna be able to actually use different weapons. Like for example, I can be a base champion, a base uh, character, and I can have like for example the shotgun from Buck and maybe the daggers. From Maeve, I'm gonna have like maybe double jump like Maeve, or even teleport like uh, like Eevee, or even go invisible like Strix and Sky. You know, you're gonna have different abilities, you're gonna have different weapons, you're gonna create your loadout throughout the game until you manage to win. So technically, this is what they're gonna be changing. Apparently, there's not champions anymore there. I think it's they called it the YOLO mode. I may be confused. Uh, but this is what I got from the stream. Uh, I'm just still I'm still gonna be waiting on new informations like a reddit post uh, a, a, a smaller version of the stream itself like all explained and But yet I'm trying to just you know just throw it out there It's trying to explain to you guys what I already got we got this we got a new champion coming out on OB 67 we got a new map we have probably more information, a little Easter eggs on that map because of Leon and etc. We're also gonna have Battlegrounds coming out of there to a new mode, to a new game itself alone. I still don't know if there's gonna be a, a mode like a replacing Battlegrounds. I still wish that they could bring back survival. For people who don't know what survival is, it's almost like sort of a, a, a search and destroy match where you have to be like the last standing but you didn't have to plant no bombs and the map would start to close with the fog just like in battlegrounds a little bit it's an old mode but it was so damn good i wish they would bring it back unfortunately i don't know if they're going to be bringing it back or not um with these informations i can just tell you that they're trying really really hard to actually listen to the players and now for the last information i have season two of competitives ladies and gentlemen if the season two is going to be starting with the ob67 so that we don't have to start it with the unbound modes they already said they're going to be trying to give a little more rewards than before like for example uh, if you get gold brackets you will start getting a skin um, they also said that you're gonna be rewarded by you know ranking up uh, including they already said that they are gonna be announcing a skin in the middle of the season so technically it's you know just to try it. okay guys don't just start to get the skin and then stop just continue to play because soon enough you'll heard about something new and you're definitely gonna want it and so you're gonna have to grind for it until we announce it so they're gonna be basically teasing us um, I think this is amazing these informations are awesome 
Uh, thank you so much, Harris, for finally starting to listen a little bit about, about the players. I'm not saying you were doing bad. I mean, you were trying new things in. Without trying, how the hell do you know if it's going to work or not? I myself, I wasn't, you know, too skeptical. How do I say this? I'm not, I wasn't, you know, too worried about the Unbound mode, but I can say definitely that I like this new mode, especially because I have almost all my champions at level 10, which means all of my champions are going to have like three legendaries, which is good. And this, I, I believe this is good because if people try to go into competitives, they're going to be thinking twice instead of going like with a character that is only level 3 and only has one legendary and probably it's not the legendary that's going to be helping you a lot. So this is actually good for everybody. I hope they can see this like 100% and try to pick the best thing for both the players and etc. They also said that whatever comes to both Battlegrounds and this mode, they are going to be trying to make it free. They don't want it to, to, to make it pay to, to play or even to win. They are going to be focusing only mainly on getting money from skins and cosmetics. And I agree with this. I agree with this 100%. If people want to waste their monies on skins, that's their fault. But at the same time, they're going to be helping the developers and etc. Since this is a free-to-play game. Um, I myself, I wouldn't be too skeptical. I'm trying to say the word, but I'm a little bit... Uh, I don't I don't have to pronounce a little bit on it um, but I wouldn't be too worried if the game were to play uh, to pay to play uh, you know just like pay once because overwatch is paid and people still love the game okay one of the things I like about patterns and since I'm a console player this is one of the best things I can actually imagine is I don't need a PlayStation plus uh, subscription to actually play the game just like Fortnite. These games are the ones I play because I don't feel forced to pay for something and if I don't have the time to fully embrace it, you know, it would be something bad. But yeah guys, that's basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I did miss anything, I am really sorry guys. Tell me so I can do an updated video about this, you know. This is all of what I'm saying, it's the things that were talked about the developers and etc. But it doesn't really mean that it's official, it doesn't really mean that it's, you know, it's 100% accurate and it will not change. Okay, it can change at any time, and if anything changes, I myself will try to, you know, to give these informations to you guys and tell you what changed, uh, what is right, what is wrong. If I mistaked myself, if there was something that I forgot to talk about, you know, I'm still trying, guys. I hope you guys understand the effort I'm trying to, you know, to to have here to bring you guys these informations and etc because if it was just to be to me I wouldn't be having all of this work watching streams uh, trying to gather informations and give it to you guys you know and I, I understand that you guys definitely want to know these things and you know I, I appreciate every support feedback and etc that you guys have been giving me you guys have been amazing I love you guys so much thank you so much for all the, that you guys have been giving me it is amazing for those who do not follow me if you are considering following me press that subscribe button you guys are amazing thank you for even just watching the video or even just dropping a like or a dislike i need to know i need the feedback guys don't don't back down just go and press the buttons tell me what you think be as honest as possible please um, I am trying to reach 1,000 subs as soon as possible so we can start doing some streams properly and I can do my face reveal. I'm still thinking if I'm going to be doing the face reveal of 1,000 subs. I did promise it, but, you know, things may change or not. But I'm going to try to do it on 1,000 subs. I don't want to be like the kind of guy that says one thing and then when you notice it's not true. I don't want to be like the kind of guy that lies. So, if I have to do this, the, the face reveal of 1,000 subs, I will do it. But I'm counting on you guys to help me reach that goal uh, to help us because the, the, I don't consider this channel just mine I consider this channel a community a group of people who are all all interested in the content that I am creating and developing but at the same time we are making the channel grow together it's not just me if it was just for me trust me I would never be able to do anything or even half of what I already did we already did exactly what I was trying to say here and I thank you guys so much for all of this and yeah guys that's all for the video today I hope you guys enjoyed my name is creepers and I'm signing out I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys on my next video
Thank you.